Evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Neme Kaudere. Uh You know, the, the level of ignorance that um, is actually expected by many people, especially those who claim to be informed um, leaders in the political space, baffles me. I was just look, uh, um, I'm going through a video clip about a man that was going about, he claims to be an economist, he's going about, um, wow, that they didn't know there was anything like Binance um, before the CBN governor mentioned it, and wow, how Binance was used to destroy Nigeria economy, um, $26 billion uh, moved through it, blah, 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 blah. I just say, wow. So there is somebody in Nigeria who does not know about the Binance crypto exchange platform and uh, he say happens and claims to be an economist uh, in this 21st century, in this digital age. Now, let me not digress. The truth remains, and for those who care to listen, the Binance crypto exchange or activities in the Binance crypto exchange are not the reasons why the Naira lost atrociously to the dollar over the last nine years. Activities in the crypto market is actually symptomatic manifestation of the problems that are in Nigeria. Most people that migrate to the crypto platform, yes, there's no doubt in it that a lot of people that want to launder money and all those stuff goes through those platforms. But there's a way we can actually checkmate it from within. The truth is, and interestingly, the Binance platform is not the only crypto exchange that you have in the world. We have over 214 cryptocurrency exchange exchange trading platforms in the world. And in fact, interestingly, the Binance is not the only crypto exchange platform that is that that has the Naira as one of the fiat currencies backing it. We have other exchanges like the Luno, like the Kraken, like the OKX. The OKX even is a very mass is a very massive platform that does average of about 3.2 trillion dollar trade on its platform annually. In Naira there is also a fiat, um, one of the fiat currencies that back the exchange. So closing down or attacking Binance and all those stuff, we will not stop those that want to play in the cryptocurrency exchange market from doing so. All they need to do is to migrate and open accounts in other platforms from OKX to Luno to the other 214 platforms on planet Earth. It just happened to be that the Binance is the biggest crypto exchange that does almost about 50 to 53 billion dollars on a daily basis. And I just want you to imagine this. Cryptocurrency market. Nigeria is not the only country that has its citizens play in the cryptocurrency market. Binance is so massive. So, so massive. Over the last three, so, so massive that you 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 just just don't see. Let me show you something. On the on the Binance Exchange, the, the Binance Exchange does about nineteen trillion dollars. Nineteen trillion dollars annually. I just want us to understand the volume. The Binance Exchange does about nineteen trillion dollars. Nineteen trillion dollars annually. I just want you to understand this. Let it sink. The Binance Crypto Exchange does about $19 trillion annually. So the, the, the two $26 billion that passed through it um, uh, from Nigeria is just chicken feed. It's just tangly chicken feed. So basically, if we actually want to fight corruption in Nigeria, if we actually want to show up the supply side of the dollar. If we if we want to show up the supply side of the dollar and protect the naira from the atrocious devaluation that it that happened and it should have happened over the last nine years, we do need to tackle things from the physical side. We need to block the leakages. See, let me explain to you. Whether somebody is trading on the open Binance platform or trading on the open Lunar platform. Or trading on the open OKX platform, or trading on the open Kraken platform, or Coinbase exchange, or whatever platform that the person needs to choose to trade. Either the person is trading that way, or the person is doing PSP. There's no way you can even do PSP or do any other trade without having a fiat account. 
and the fiat account for naira accounts are domiciled in the deposit money banks in nigeria for anybody who is in nigeria who has a naira account to 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 upload or to to deposit naira in his wallet in any of the exchanges the person must at least transfer money from his fiat account with any of the deposit money banks into the wallet in any of the crypto exchanges be it luno be it GoKX, be it binance so if you want to stop corrupt monies or illicitly got illicit funds flowing into the crypto exchange platforms we need to tackle it from the base and that is from the deposit money bank end and how do you tackle it anybody that must open an account in the bank must have name attached bvn attached if possible team tax identification number attached is it not shocking that the, we that it is alleged, alleged that we have 28 million accounts in the deposit money banks that does not have behavior attached to it let me tell you most of those ledger accounts most of those accounts that are opened in banks that the bank operators the bank managers the bank executives refuse to uh, allow to operate without bvn linked to them are deliberately created accounts mostly attached to the politically exposed criminals to launder money what is difficult for us to understand this thing if we block the leakages from the deposit money end if we control the inflow of illicit funds from source into the crypto wallets it will not get in there stifling binance and trying to make binance or the bdc's uh, the scapegoats without tackling the real issue without dealing with the real criminals in the public sector and their private sector funds who are helping them to launder the looted fuck and jack and IGR in the steel. We are wasting our time. Can't we be honest to tell ourselves the truth? The problem of, 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 of corruption in Nigeria, the problem of inefficiencies in Nigeria, the problem that has led to the devaluation our division of the Naira atrociously over the last eight nine years is, is, is hinged on the issue of corruption and insecurity. If we can clip those leakage pipes through which illicit funds flow from looted monies into the Binance exchange and other platforms, we won't be having this kind of discussions of banning Binance or arresting the executives because of one issue or the other. Binance is not the only crypto exchange platform in the world. There are 314, 214 crypto exchange platforms in the world. There are other platforms that even have more fiat monies back in them. Crypto has only, Binance platform has only about eight, eight or nine fiat currencies back in it. I know of some that has over 43 fiat currencies of different countries back in them. So how come those other countries did not buy, 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 um, ban Binance or any you know, of the crypto exchanges? How come it's only Nigeria that we see crypto exchanges, digital currencies as a wahala or as a problem? You know, we like to see shadows. We live, you know, in Ibo, there's Ibo Adek that says, you left the, the bomb bomb that farted and you're knocking the head. These guys should stop playing with our intelligence. And you know, very many ignorant people, they go on live TV and they are shouting, oh, we didn't know there was something like Binance. Oh, we were busy thinking it is this, this, that. Oh, it is Binance that has been stealing Nigerian money. What kind of crap is that? What kind of, what, what level of atrocious ignorance is this? If we want to cut corruption in Nigeria, we know what to do. Tackle it from source. We are where we are today because of the corruption, the profligacy, the inefficiencies, the incompetencies of the physical managers of the economy. The Central Bank of Nigeria also needs to do in-house cleaning. The house also stinks. We need support need to tell them this. If the Central Bank of Nigeria is actually, over the last eight years, lived up to their responsibility of being honest bankers to the federal government of Nigeria, honest bankers to, to, to the states, Honest bankers to other banks who won't be where we are today. If they did not print 23 trillion naira plus 7 trillion naira accumulated on it, we won't be where we are today. If they did not create 
the dual exchange rate window, the multiple exchange rate window, that created 300 naira arbitrage opportunities. We won't be where we are today. If the CPN over the last eighteen was not involved in allocating dollars to cronies of those in place of power, so that to, to get their patronages, to get their support, to get their political um, support, all those stuff, we won't be where we are. We knew what was happening in this market. People were getting allocated dollar allocation. Salus Lamino Salus said it. People were getting dollar allocations for doing nothing. They will give them dollar allocations at official rates. They will go to the black market to go and sell it. And we know what was happening. There was massive round tripping that was that happened over the last nine years. So basically, what we need in Nigeria today is an independent central bank of Nigeria. An independent central bank of Nigeria that is alive and faithful to its duties and obligations to the constitution and the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not to anybody and not to any interest. We know what to do to fix this economy. They need to regulate hard. They need to sanction hard. They need to be up and running. They need to get the banks to start doing their job. The role of any financial institution in Nigeria is financial intermediation. Bri bri bridging the gap between the surplus economic units and the deficit economic units. Banks should not, or fashion, should not be easy conduit avenues and pipes for criminal and complicit political bandits and their private sector funds to launder money and foreign dollars out of Nigeria. We know and we read stories of people that bought houses in London, bought houses in Maryland, bought Dubai. It's estimated that are over $18 billion worth of property, uh, uh, properties of Nigerians in Dubai. How did they fund it? Are we stupid? Let us stop making a mockery of ourselves as a nation. If we want to fix this economy, we need to tackle corruption. If we want to ensure price stability, we need to boost productivity. Raising MPs R to 22.7 percent and the and the and the cash reserve requirement to 45 percent is an overkill. You will get the hot money; it will come in. The hot monies will inflow into the economy. Six months they will exit again. Next, next zero sum game. Cash in two situation. We need to put in place the ease of doing business environment, security environment, security environment. We need to put in place the required infrastructure, both physical, infra physical infrastructure, physical infrastructure, legal infrastructure, justice administrative, um, efficient and transparent justice administrative infrastructure to make business uh, honest enterprise here easy to, 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 to pursue. Now, the, the global investing world, they are the global investing uh, investors are looking at what's happening here. When your justice administrative system is what? When people feel that the, the justice administrative system in Nigeria is very corrupt, where the, the security agents, where the judiciary or whatever, protect the criminals and hunt the innocent people. When people begin to perceive with such a criminal and a compromised justice administrative system, they will stay away from investing here. We must have a justice and police and administrative system that goes hard against criminals and protect the innocent and honest entrepreneurs in Nigeria. But where you have the honest entrepreneurs being persecuted and the criminals being protected, no honest investor from any part of the world will come to this economy. Let's tell ourselves the truth. If we want to fix this country, if we want to fix Nigeria, we must do the right things. I, I am tired of enunciating this thing. I am tired of this, you know, stating most of this. Thing. We know what to do. Clip the wings of the governors and the ministers and the politicians who are still in our nara to pursue dollar, still in our nara to fade out of Nigeria. Cut their wings and you will see Naira stabilize. Boost productivity within the economy. Let there be productivity. Let there be security. Sector by sector. This country has capacity to produce and export nothing less than 300 billion naira, billion dollars worth of oil and non-oil oil, oil goods and, and the services. But we need to do the right things. Let's stop chasing shadows. Let's stop adopting um, horridly knee-jack elixir and opiate solutions when we can put in place sustainable panacea to the problems that we have here. God bless you and thanks for your audience. Oh, la, 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 la.